So everybody, these are the honest thoughts on Kobe Main and our a player who's had a lot of interest from Manchester United and a player who's massively developed. We'll be talking positive, negative, rain the season out of 10, strengths and weaknesses, what he brings to Manchester United and what I think of him so far. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So Kobe Mainu, 18 year old who's done I think, wonders for us this season, something that we've not expected. Um, if you look at the start last season where you kind of got introduced to the team, was playing uh, regularly in the under 21s, was training with the first team. Then towards the end of the season, when in when we had cup, cup games, he kind of solidified his spot in the Manchester United system. And ever since then, he's gone up and up and up. Played played some really really good football for Manchester United, and the quality certainly been there. Um, Eric Ten Hag gave him the moments in pre season, and unfortunately, he picked up that ankle injury, which kept him out for for a few months. Um, which which was really sad because he was going on some really really good momentum, and I was really starting to see we really starting to see the real Kobe Manu, but. Looked like after that injury he came he came back and was absolutely fantastic, was world class. Um and for me, you can see as soon as he came, as soon as he was available, Eric Ten Hag put him back into team and that's just a testament to show what a good player he is. And for me he's benching well not for me, but he's benching players like Ericsson, um, McTominay, who's been regular starts for Manchester United over the past season, McTominay for a few seasons now. So he has it has been um, a great a great time for, for Manu. I think particularly he's developed in that number eight role really, really well. And when he's working alongside world-class players, especially Casemiro, five-time Champions League winner, it's only going to help him. And I think that's massively helped, uh, massively helped improve him. Now, if you look at the games he started when he immediately came in, Goodison Park away, Anfield away, same James Park away, Galatasaray away, some huge, huge games. And he did... He did. He did not fold in the pressure. Since then, he's played Etihad away. He basically played most of our games, and he's an integral part of our side. And the quality that he's shown, um, and yeah, he looks absolutely composed on the ball. Someone who's not shy to go into the tackle. Someone who's very, very good with the ball at his feet. Very technical. Very skillful. And for me, it's very rare to find footballers like this these days. And and Kobe Manu is certainly one of them. For me, it's absolutely fantastic. And yeah, he he is really, really good. Um. Uh, towards in a few moments, I will rate his season. But so far, I just want to talk about how good he is. He plays, he plays for Manchester United, and he's brilliant. He played. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, he's played fourteen games for us this season, and he has been absolutely fantastic. Um, and all of them games that he's played, maybe not registering goals and assist. Oh well, he got that wonderful goal. Sorry, I just remembered he got that wonderful goal against Wolves in the Premier League to win us the game in the 97th minute. Got a goal against Newport as well in the FA Cup. So if he can add goals to his game, he'd be an absolutely fantastic player. But so far, he's doing absolutely brilliantly. And for me, he's one of Manchester United's most important players. I think, the, as I said, the quality, the ability and what, what, what we've seen from Manchester United so far, I can only say positive things about him. Um, and I'm really happy for him going forward. He can mould into that six and eight role. Someone who can carry the ball really, really well. And I think that's an underrated asset of him. But yeah, let's talk about the strength of him. I think, as I said, his ball carrying ability is one of the best in the league, in my opinion. He's so powerful and strong with his running when he gets the ball at his feet. I think, as I said, particularly the past few games where Manchester United have struggled and we've lost um, to Ever uh, sorry to City and Fulham. He did find it difficult. There was a huge, there was a huge analysis on him on Sky Sports. The fact that he didn't know really which player to mark, and that's probably not based on him. It's probably based on Eric Ten Hag and what he's been told to do. But for me, overall, he's been fantastic. Uh, if you look at his weaknesses, probably defensively and the fact that he's still developing. 18 years of age, he's going to be nowhere near what he's going to be like in four or five years. I think the quality that he's shown at such a young age, though, is, is fantastic. And for me, he can mould into a certain player. He's obviously going to learn and he keeps going as every player will. But for me, what he's done so far for Manchester United, he's just solidified, kept it simple, not done too much, being humble as well. And for me, yeah, he's fantastic. As I said, he's going to learn lots more under the new regime. And I think he's got a great group of players around him. You look at the players we've got in that midfield. Casemiro, as I said, experienced player, five-time Champions League. Eriksson, a player who's been around, experienced, um, won the Serie A as well. Um, you look at Bruno Fernandes, what you can say about him, he's a leader, certainly. McTominay, someone who knows what it's like to, to come through the academy, so you can kind of talk about that with McTomin uh, with Maynou. You've got Amrabat as well, who's a very, very decent player. So Mount as well, UCL winner. So we have got a lot of experience that will obviously benefit benefit uh thing in the right direction, but it does give him a lot of confidence. Now, let me rate his season out of 10. For me, 
you got to give it a solid 8. I think he's been absolutely fantastic this season. As I said, a player who we didn't really know too much about last season. We know he had a bit of tech and was really good in the academy, but we haven't seen much of him. And since, and since that, that first game away at Everton where he was absolutely brilliant, was conducting the play, it seems like he's gone up and up and he's he's only gone on leaps and bounds. So really happy with Kobe Mainu. And for me, obviously, someone Manchester United are looking to give a new contract to and I will certainly be looking to do that because he's absolutely brilliant. And a player that the Manchester United fans want at the at the, the forefront of the project, I think, uh, is coming in that Ineos want to build around Kobe Mainu and Garnacho. So you can see that he's a, he's a player we can't afford to lose. Um, he's different to the academy players because he's one who's actually obviously there's other academy players who who come to the first team and not, haven't quite made it. I think Kobe Mane is kind of different to that. I think he's got that mentality. But as I said, there's nowhere near where he wants to be. He wants to be the best, and he hasn't he hasn't quite got there yet. Um, but certainly, I think he will because he he's brilliant and. Yeah, he's one of the best players for me. So, yeah, this is kind of the honest thoughts on Kobe Mainu. As I said, I rate his season 8 out of 10. Um, and, yeah, there's still a few games to go. Let's see what impact he can have. He's been absolutely brilliant and a star for us this season. Um, someone someone who's given fans a lot of hope and a lot of potential. A young When a young player comes through, it's always amazing because it gives us that extra bit of... I don't know, it's just a feeling that, that you don't know. He's an academy product. You look at the academy players, a 10 out of through, two fantastic ones in Garnacho and Mainu. So, yeah, it's only looking positive from here. But don't forget to check out the other one. They've done one on Casemiro, Garnacho, Anthony, Rashford. There's one, there'll be, there'll be some more coming as well. Just honest thoughts, kind of an overview of their season. Um, and they're just giving you some strengths, weaknesses, thoughts on the overall season so far and what I think to improve. Now, with Mainu, I think... Maybe just a bit, bit more away. Um, I think that's probably the biggest thing he can improve on. But overall, I think his game hasn't got a lot of flaws to it. But as I said, he's still a raw talent, someone who still needs to improve. But yeah, an absolute fantastic player and a world-class prospect to have at Manchester United. You know, we are so grateful for him. Um, and I think he's a warrior in that midfield. Just keep doing what he's doing. At 18 years of age, he's probably our best midfielder currently based on form. And yeah, what more can I say? Thanks for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, comment and subscribe. Let me know which videos you want to see coming up. Obviously, we've got some huge games coming up for the remainder of the season for Manchester United and we will be keeping you up to date. We've got transfer window and all of that stuff coming. It's a huge window for Ineos and we keep you up to date with everything that's happening. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.